Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. This time, well, I wanted to do some checking to see what we could fuse before I actually started recording, and then when I jumped inside, I saw that, well, Margaret had something to say about our personas that we have registered. So, because of all the personas that we registered, she's going to give us a gift, apparently. Okay. And, yeah, so as long as we have the item that she's going to give us, we will have reduced costs of summoning personas. So, that's awesome. Velvet ticket. Alright. So that, that uh, reduces it by 10%. I believe there are several more steps to this. I've never actually went through and captured all of the personas. Um, so I really don't know what comes next. I don't remember how far up it goes for the price reduced, but that's really useful and that's really good for us because <laughs> we're going to be summoning later and not having to spend that much money would be great. Alright, well, thanks Margaret. Yeah, so she will give us more of those gifts. I just don't know what they are and I don't know when they happen. I have to look it up. Perhaps we will talk about that more, so... I'll look that up for next time, probably. So I was gonna just do some searching to see what we could fuse. We have a full deck right now, so we can't get any more personas. I just wanted to kind of see what we have available. We have a lot of personas you can kind of see here that we could possibly fuse. Uh, plenty that we don't currently have. So I'm going to go ahead and look a little bit, see maybe if there's something I want to grab. Um, just to see. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we are definitely not level 43. Uh, just to kind of see what's there and... Um, I'll be back shortly. Alright, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. I'm going to be fusing the uh, uh, Yamatano Orochi. I believe you actually fight this, or er, this is the main enemy of Okami. Yeah, it's the eight headed snake serpent creature. I'm not entirely sure what he is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse him. I only have one rank in Moon right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead, so he's got the mob. Bafula, man, pronunciation sucks. Which does medium ice damage to all foes. He's got a little bit of wind, and he's got that fire resistance, which I don't really care about. And I'm fusing him with uh, my Aeon, uh, Hero Font, and Moon guys. I'm not using them, and they're not uh, been trained or anything like that. Not trained, used, and leveled up. There we go. This is in Pokemon. Kind of feels like it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull some stuff from them. Um, that one's usually really good. And he actually maybe I may use him later. He's pretty good. I uh, can't see. Let me see here. Uh, I don't really care about the deal. I'll take Hama. You can see here he's weak to fire, but he knows both ice and electricity, so that's really cool. Let's go ahead and fuse him real quick. We're gonna just go ahead and skip through the animation. Awesome, so we have this guy. And he gets some power. Yeah, I love the little snake animation thing there. He is now level 35. Awesome. So that'll clear up some space so we don't have to go around switching personas. I enjoy clearing out my uh, deck every once in a while like this. You know, have a few personas that I'm actively using or switching between. You know, these guys have been the large, largely the three I've been using. This clears up a couple slots so I can collect some more personas and then fuse them into other personas. And, uh, I don't know, I might maybe want to fuse a couple more of these. But I'm not going to because I'll be using a lot of them and I don't have to purchase them. So. Alright, we're going over to search for Rise. We reached floor 8 last time. Um, one thing to note here is that Yosuke is starting to fall behind a little bit, so we're actually going to switch him out in place of Kanji. Alright, and he'll quickly catch up, I'm sure. Yeah, so, oops, sorry, we're on floor 9. So let's get going. We have a couple more floors to go before we can reach floor 11. I think he's all... Let me make sure Yosuke is all... Okay, looks like... Oh gosh darn it. I actually switched. Didn't mean to. Where's 
point he's got everything that I want him to have, so let's go ahead and... I haven't really checked out any of the outfits, maybe I'll do that later. Alright, and we have a new weak, Numi here. So I bet this will be a cinch. Thanks. So this is the Sky Balance. They are um, nullify, I believe that is physical attacks. Yes, they nullify physical attacks, but they repel electric and wind. You can kind of tell there that they've got the special colors. I think we did the ice and fire one earlier. So we want to use ice or fire on these guys. And these guys are weak to fire. So let's go ahead and use Miragi on them. Sure, and she is gonna hunt the sky. Oh, oh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Awesome. Use I thought she only punted enemies that weren't down, but apparently that was an incorrect assumption. She's never kicked an enemy that was down out of out of battle before like that. At least while I'm here. All right, so this guy, don't forget he's got that growth one, so he's just gaining levels like crazy. I'm just gonna let him do that. I kind of like having him around. I want to see how powerful he can get. I should note that those sky balances use medium attacks. Uh, medium... Yeah, medium attacks. So... Like the medium fire... Or no, I'm sorry. Medium, medium wind and medium electricity attacks. Which can really do some damage on your party. They did about... Not quite half of the dam uh, of quite half health on me, so just a heads up. All right, so I got Aries out of that. I think I've already had him before, but he's mine now. Reminds me of um, Xena, the warrior princess. Aries. He's very disappointed when he when he died, unfortunately. All right, where are we going? Uh, we've got Red Monster. I smell two enemies! Pick them up! I wasn't gonna show this battle. I'm two actually going to. Left. So if you notice, actually, there's two of the arcane turrets. And I just used ten triple on them. Which is literally makes all enemies pack, uh, panic. That's a really good idea in this case. If you notice, we're doing significantly low amounts of damage, and these guys aren't weak or strong or anything. Um, so you're, you're gonna wanna steal a lot of damage as much as you can, and that tension food can be really helpful. Because, yeah, when they're panicked, they'll waste money. Let's see what the other one does. No, nope, nothing. So he didn't do anything. I ended up getting that, obviously, that with Yosuke. So that's a useful. Uh, ability to have a lot of enemies are weak to that panic status. And it's not 100% effective, and it's not 100% that they're going to use it, but it's it's pretty good. I'm gonna heal myself because that's not a good level of health to be had. I got a rampage. The rampage does, I think, multiple hits. I don't remember how many it is. Yeah, so they're just wasting money. Unfortunately, you'll do this too. <laughs> if you get panicked, you'll just throw money everywhere. And that can be really bad. Awesome! awesome. <laughs> so took the one guy. Eventually, then the foes will come out of panic. I just don't know when that will be. So now we're gonna use all of our medium level attacks on them. So persistent. Just one enemy left. Let's see. I don't have any attacks on them. Let's find something that does. Pyrojack. There we go. And that should take them out. So, if you get caught in a red battle with two of these guys, your best bet is to use Panic and Habit. We have Chie's Skull Crusher, I think. Oh, and we have Possibility the Unicorn here. So, let's grab that. Persona level up. And that's all we get. A Persona level up is a really good card. And we got Unicorn. Awesome! Go ahead and mark that I have Unicorn now. For some reason I have Caps Lock on. Okay. 
Alright, Power Jack rolled up level 36, so he gets that Mara Gion? Mara Gion? I don't, I don't know. Alright, Yosuke leveled up. He's catching up a little bit there. At least he's in the 30s now. Let's take a look real quick here. Yeah, that does medium fire damage to all foes. I don't know if that's the first one we have. It's a good question, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's keep going now. We're getting close to the end here. Alright, we've had a chest. What's in it? Something interesting? Purifying salt. Eh. Uh, hoping for a piece of armor or equipment or something. We're missing that entire corner over there. Oh, we have a... No, I missed. It's probably gonna vanish before I get there. Oh, hey, I, I found Kanji and... I missed who else we have there. Oh, I missed! He's getting away. Is he... Oh, wait, he ran into the corner? Oh my gosh. Got it. You know, all that chasing around was for nothing, because they ended up getting an, uh, a nervation on all of my folks, and that just sucked. Well, let's not be too depressed about that, and let's go ahead and heal up my party, and look, the fox is here, so... Let's go ahead and ask for healing. Go ahead and heal up. So we're at full health now. Let's talk to Kanji. Hey, you're kicking ass alone, apparently. No, I think you're just kind of hanging out by yourself. Let's go ahead and encourage him. Yeah, we'll, we'll be careful. I like his tattoo on his shoulder. Take what? Alright, we got a Dr. Salt Mio. I don't remember what that does. What is that? It's just a healing, regular old healing item. Ah, it restores 5 SP to an ally. Yay! I guess if you're in serious trouble, you can use that. I don't know. that. Some of the items are just, you know, I don't want to call them special tabs. I'm just ignoring that guy. He'll, he'll stop stalking me in a second. But some of the items in this game are almost gimmicky, I guess. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Almost useless is what they are. You know, just kind of get them, and they're fun, but they're not useful. Alright, we got Mikami from that battle. It is a hanged man persona, so that's pretty cool. It's like a little, I don't know, worm-like thing is what it looks like. Yeah, there's another shadow around the corner somewhere. Let's get him. Alright, let's not, uh, let's try and find the chest. There we go. We get a Yashichi? Yashichi? What is that? What does that do? I actually don't know off the top of my head. That deals 50, 50 points of wind damage to all enemies. Okay, I'm not sure if I've ever gotten one of those before. Uh, oh, so just so you know, I finished this entire floor, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next floor. So this is floor 10. We're gonna finish floor 10 today, and then we'll go to floor 11 next time. Hmm. Kind and clean, huh? So she doesn't care about looks, okay. She doesn't like handsome looking guys, that's kind of strange. It is well on the inside that really counts. Eh, looks fade over time. Oh, yes, the ins one's insides are important. Uh oh. You are all empty, but that's not exactly what she's talking about. Calm down, Teddy. Alright, 10th floor. Oh, we've got a shaking chest over here. Let's go ahead and open it. Awesome, so we're gonna go home out of that, and I got one of those stupid uh, treasure hands. Treasure hands? I don't remember. Whatever the, the floating gold hand thingies are. Are creepy and you know, retrospect thinking about golden hands just kind of walking around. Weird. Just as a swift reminder about those stupid champion knights, they hurt if you can't tell. Oh, actually, there you go. All right, let's continue on here. Uh, yeah, we're going the right way. I was just like, wait, did we miss something? We did not miss anything. Good. So I believe we've actually seen all the enemies in this dungeon. 
I'm looking down my list and I don't actually see any new ones that I don't remember showing you guys. So it's possible that we won't be seeing any new battles, which is kind of boring. Huh, I found the stairs though. No, we're not going to go right ahead. We're actually going to finish up exploring. It would be short. I can figure out what buttons to push. It would be extraordinarily helpful if you guys were getting close to level 40. We have a couple people that are falling behind a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. I may do a little bit of grinding in between uh, episodes. And that's just simply to make sure that we are at an appropriate level. We are a little ahead of the enemies here. I'm doing plenty of damage, but there's a uh, there's boss coming up, obviously. Like, there is in every single dungeon, if you haven't figured that out already. As I was saying, there was a boss coming up, obviously, at the end of this floor, or at the end of this dungeon, that hurts pretty bad. Especially at low levels. Let's get this guy. Get him! Awesome, I got two of those little, um, hand guys. One of them escaped, but I got the other one. And then we had another battle after that, so I got plenty of experience and money out of that. Alright, let's open this. Awesome, we get a soul drop out of that. I need to go back up, okay. Wander on the stripper pole. It's not actually... I don't know, I've thought about uh, learning to do that kind of thing. There's two things going on here that I'm willing to say. The first thing is trying to figure out when... I wonder when she learns. So you notice here she's only got light ice stuff right now. No medium ice. I don't remember when she learns her medium ice. The second thing I was going to say, I've heard it's really good exercise to learn how to pole dance. So, I don't know. I don't think there's any classes here. Oh, actually she should probably heal. But as I was saying, I don't think that there's probably any classes like that around here. I live kind of a distance away from any really cool places that would probably cover something like that. Can I just go to Circle? Let me move on to the next floor. So there's probably no possible way for me to do that. Okay, we are on floor 11. You do not want to go on any further if you look if your party looks like mine. So, we're gonna go ahead and use it. Go home. I we'll probably want to keep at least one more of those. Are you be using one more of those minimum? I'm gonna return to the entrance. So here's what we have. My party as of right now is looking about uh Yosuke is a little low. Chie and Kanji are definitely below where I'd want them to be. I'm getting close. My goal, or at least what you should be aiming for, is to have your main party, so you, or you, you know, you at 40, level 40 at least, and your party should be probably coming with you, you know, relatively. Let's see here, you probably want to bring... So you're gonna want to have you really want to have want to have Chie with you the entire time, and then you probably want Yukiko for healing, so you can choose Kanji or Yosuke. It shouldn't matter. Yosuke is weak to that's there we go. Yosuke is weak to electricity, and Kanji is weak to wind. So neither of those should matter too much. My cat's coming to join me. So just a heads up, you're going to want to make sure that you've got some levels. We won't be doing too much level grinding, I'm just falling behind for some bizarre reason. Probably because I haven't done as much grind- or not grinding, but I haven't fought all the enemies that I've seen. Which is something that happens from time to time. Alright, so next time, we explore level 11. Until then, have a good day!